The concept for this pickup was so unbelievable that it never even made it into production. And that goes for a lot of the trucks in this video. Some of these unique concepts just couldn't work out, and others were on the verge of production, only for something to happen at the last second, breaking the hearts of truck enthusiasts all over the world. These are five of the most secret pickup trucks you won't believe exist. Starting at number five is the Dodge T-Rex. Back in 1997, Dodge unveiled the unique T-Rex, a beast of a truck with six wheels spread across three axles, ready to dominate off-road terrain. Powered by a monstrous 8.0-liter V10 engine, this bad boy pumped out a massive 300 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque, making it a real powerhouse. Even though it was never officially rated, some speculate it was even more powerful. That said, with this specific pickup, it wasn't just about brute force. Nope, the T-Rex was a real technical and design marvel too. It was built on a 133-inch chassis and equipped with single axles for better grip and agility. Despite its impressive design, Dodge decided to keep the T-Rex as a prototype, leaving truck enthusiasts dreaming of what could have been. And sadly, you'll see that this is the fate a lot of these super secret pickups have to suffer. After all, they wouldn't exactly remain a secret if they were made public now, would they? At number four, it's the 1963 Studebaker Westinghouse, which shares a similar story. This is a truck that's as straightforward as it gets. No fancy frills, just pure utility and simplicity. This was one of the main goals Studebaker set out to make this truck with, and we've got to say, they nailed it. Studebaker was all about keeping it real, grabbing parts off the shelf to keep costs down and the design uncomplicated. The design featured some serious practicality. They ditched the curves and went for a look so simple, you could stamp it out without breaking a sweat. But the best part was the cab over engine layout. With the cab sitting right over the engine, you'd get a massive eight foot bed while still being compact enough to maneuver around town. But this truck wasn't just about looks. They threw in some corrugated sections for extra strength and rigidity. And that windshield? It leaned forward to give you a clear view of every nook and cranny you were navigating. Under the hood, or should I say under the cab, was the same 289 cubic inch engine powering other Studebaker legends. Paired with a three-speed automatic transmission, featuring an impressive manual hold feature they called Power Shift, it offered the perfect blend of power and finesse. Now, let's talk numbers. Despite its big bed, this concept was pretty compact, stretching out to 168 inches long, 72 inches wide, and standing tall at 78 inches, all while riding on a 95-inch wheelbase. But just when we were getting excited about seeing this practical beast on the streets, Studebaker decided to close its South Bend complex in December 1963. And just like that, the dream of the Studebaker Westinghouse pickup ended for every truck enthusiast out there. We can't help but wonder if a design like this would get famous nowadays, but guess we'll never know. Now, if you really know the ins and outs of truck history, you might have heard of this name before. At number three is the Nissan Nails Concept pickup truck. The company really set out to achieve something unique with the design of this truck. It was clearly meant to be more than just a vehicle. It was straight up a statement about Nissan's vision of blending its unique style with a touch of practicality. It was first unveiled in 2001 at a Tokyo auto show with only a lucky few ever getting the chance to lay their eyes on it. But let's just say it's managed to spark interest since then. This is not only because of the Nissan Nails' unique name, but also because of its approach to design and utility, which was incredibly fresh for its time. Powered by a punchy 1.5-liter inline-four engine, it delivered around 100 horsepower to the front wheels, packing a decent punch for its compact size. But what really set the nails apart was its configuration. Unlike your typical pickup, it featured a two-door setup, making it a fusion of personal vehicle comfort with the practicality of a pickup truck. And instead of the usual load bed behind the cab, the nails cleverly positioned it beneath the wheels, a smart move aimed at enhancing everyday usability. Durability was also a key focus in its design. 
With body panels resistant to dents and scratches, the Nails was built to withstand the rigors of daily life, making it the ideal choice for those seeking a tough yet compact ride. Even now, the concept offers a glimpse into the future of pickups, where utility seamlessly merges with style in a compact and efficient package. While it seems unlikely that pickups will ever adopt this sort of style now, looking back at the Nissan Nails feels like staring at a time capsule. It's the perfect summation of the technological and cultural landscape of the early 2000s in Japan. And this can also be said for this next vehicle. At number two, it's the Ford Mighty F350 Tonka. This heavy-duty pickup concept made waves when Ford unveiled it at the 2002 North American International Auto Show. This truck was a collaboration between Ford and Tonka, the iconic toy truck maker loved by kids worldwide for over 50 years. Inspired by the legendary durability of Tonka toys, the mighty F350 Tonka was made to combine functionality with style, putting the driver firmly in control. Step inside, and you'd find a cabin filled with snap-on gauges and oversized toggle switches reminiscent of aircraft controls. It was all about versatility and toughness. The interior was decked out in blue leather and cloth, with the driver's seat featuring a suspension system, similar to what you'd find in larger commercial trucks. Powering this beast was Ford's preview of the next-gen Power Stroke diesel engine, known as the Super 600. This 6.0-liter V8 engine, paired with a 5-speed power torque automatic transmission, delivered a surprising 350 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. But it wasn't just about raw power. The mighty F350 Tonka boasted innovative features like electronic variable response turbocharging, hydraulic rail fuel injection, and exhaust gas recirculation, all aimed at boosting performance and reducing emissions. Ford even teamed up with Eaton Corporation to introduce hydraulic launch assist into the truck's powertrain, a cutting-edge technology designed to improve fuel economy. On the outside, the F350 Tonka featured LED headlights and taillights, a fifth-wheel hitch in the bed, and massive 31560 tires mounted on 22-inch rims. Chrome steps folded out from the rocker panels for easy entry and the truck even had air springs that raised it by five inches when you closed the door. While the mighty F350 Tonka never made it to production, its design and technologies have left a lasting impact. You can see echoes of its tough exterior styling in later models, like the 2008 Ford F-Series Super Duty and the 2009 F150. And guess what? That powerful 6.0 liter Power Stroke V8 engine? Yep, it made it into production, proving that sometimes even concept trucks leave a legacy on the road. Finally, there's one other super secret truck that I've just got to mention on this list. And at number one, that's the 1998 Dodge Big Red. This bad boy was Dodge's playground for blending hardcore toughness with the latest tech. First things first, let's talk about what made this truck tick its groundbreaking Cummins 24-valve turbo diesel engine. This wasn't your average engine, it had an electronic fuel system for a smoother, quieter ride. Packing an inline six-cylinder powerhouse with 460 pound-feet of torque, this pickup was ready to rumble at just 1,400 revolutions per minute, and peaked it up to 2,700 revolutions per minute. Plus, it boasted 235 horsepower at its peak. What does all of this add up to? Well, this truck was a towing and hauling champ. And to add a touch of nostalgia, Dodge threw in a five-speed manual transmission, but they didn't stop there. They went all out on the interior too. Dodge expanded the cab for more room and packed it with comforts like mist gray leather seats front and back and a pass-through rear for easy access, minus the usual console block. And for those long rides, they even threw in a 6-inch LCD TV, VCR, and rear audio controls with headphones. Let's not forget about the looks. This concept was dressed to impress in Dodge Flame Red, with a modified grille that made a statement, twin hood bulges hiding cold air intakes, and an aerodynamic raised roofline with an integrated light bar for that extra touch of style. Now, keep in mind, 
that this big red truck was an experimental concept, which is probably why it's been so secretive over the years. Now, if you want to check out some more content on trucks, make sure to click on this next video.